window. Herbs seem to really be thriving for the most part. There's a few that still aren't. That lavender is just absolutely never going to come up. I give up. I'm going to have to buy a lavender plant. But everything else seems to really be doing well. The child's still in the coma pit, but that's not time for them yet, I don't think. The fever few is really taken off. My little lemon trees that come from seeds from the grocery store, so I don't know if they'll ever bear lemons, but the leaves should smell good. They're growing, but not as fast as they did at first. And then the ones in the kitchen window are really doing well. The thyme's the mustard, the parsley, basil, lemon mint, sweet basil, all those. They're doing really well. My little pot garlic that I grew from garlic that I got in the grocery store is not doing so well anymore. None of the green onions are there anymore, so I don't guess that was a failed experiment. Now my little baby pool gardens are doing really well. As you can see, we have some beans poking up down there. All the bean plants are growing beans on them slowly but surely. This one, I have not had any luck getting it to stay tied up. I'm going to have to get my husband to look at that when he comes home because I can't get it to stay tied up. But there are beans down there. And this mystery plant that I couldn't figure out what it is, it's a bean plant too. My neighbor told me that. There are beans on it somewhere. I'm not sure which one. I've got a couple of them in here. And those are little onions that are trying to come out. This squash plant is just not going to do very well. This one's perking up some. Now, this is a zucchini one. And it has one little zucchini growing right there. And these plants will poke the snot out of you if you're not careful. It's another one of these mystery plants that turns out to be a green, a bean plant. And it is producing some beans. <coughs> and this is just all that I've got from just using little baby plants. Here are beet plants that are getting ready to give me some little beets. Some more of those bean plants that I didn't know what they were at first. I've got to figure out a way to tie them up. I'm going to have to get some more stakes out here, but I believe it's fixing to rain again, so I'm going to have to get back inside. And as you can see, all these squash and zucchini plants have beans on them. Some of them have little plants poking up. It will poke the snot out of you. And these bean plants are perking up a little better. We had a little incident with the people that came to do our roof. As you can see, that's what that is all over the leaves. They shingles on my plants, so I was really worried that I may have lost a couple of plants. Now this is a couple of plants. But they seem to be doing really well. There's also a little bee plant in there. And over here in this one, that's an okra plant that's kind of coming up. Some leeks coming up around that okra plant. And I will say this was the one that had my tomatoes in it. And when something dug up the tomatoes, I just threw a bunch of seeds in here to see what would come up. This is a sweet potato plant that I had to put in here because my dog got in my sweet potato grow bag so I had to have somewhere to put it. These are tomatoes that we had to buy the whole plants and something ate the ones that I stole. Got in my sweet potato grow bag so I had to have somewhere to put it. These are tomatoes that we had to buy the whole plants and something ate the ones that I started from seeds. I know I'm gonna have to separate them out into two bags once they get bigger. Going down the side, green 
probably can't you know, make a plant with that machine with our own, but I didn't. The rosemary plant still doing good. If you look really close, you can see there are a few beet plants trying to come up in here. Uh, I had to go buy some more pepper plants because they kill my pepper plants with shingles. And I think that's onions trying to grow up amongst my bean plants over there. These I got from seeds that my niece sent me and they're growing super fast. And over here in these grow bags we have potatoes. Of course you can't see them. And then there are the two little sweet potatoes that are left also from after the dog got the grow bag and drug it all across the yard but I don't think they're going to do very well because she did a pretty good job on those so we'll see I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this area it is full of bricks I used to have this plant this house set empty for a while after Miss Bohannon passed away it used to have some really unruly plants in it that I think maybe were dead azaleas that we got rid of. We still have to find a way to get rid of all these stumps that will not go away. And we have this hideous space under the stairs that I've got to figure out something to do with, something to block it off because Piper goes under there and then she gets stuck. And we have these stumps that I have tried everything I know to try to get rid of. And Piper gets stuck on them when she comes outside to play in her lead. We're thinking about gathering all these bricks up and trying to make a decent flower bed in the front yard. Or maybe even using them to make a fire pit. We don't know yet. But I have to find something to do with this awful looking area.